My name is Bart, and this is my friend from the Philippines. Hello there everyone. Today I'm back with a giant moth from the Philippines. I think most of the people who follow my channel are aware of the existence of Atlas moths, which are among the biggest uh, moths in the world. And lucky for us uh, moth enthusiasts, they are also easy to breed in captivity. So that makes them excellent species for uh, any hobbyist. There are many species of them across the world, but only a select few are available in captivity, sadly. Uh, typically you'll see the Atlas moth, Atacus Atlas, but sometimes other species also uh, pop up in the market, such as the Atacus Kaiser, Atacus uh, Lorkini, Atacus Lemarae and others. And today we get one from the Philippines. What we here see the Atacus Lorkini, Lorcan's Atlas moth. Uh, as I said, it's endemic to the Philippines only. And uh, it can be separated from the uh, regular Atlas moth, Atacus Atlas, by looking at the wingtips. Here you can see uh, the wingtips of this moth, they kind of look like snakes, like snake heads. And in the regular Atlas moths from the mainland of Asia, these uh, wingtips are yellow. But in the Philippinian uh, atlas moth, uh, Lorcan's atlas moth that we are looking at right now, Tacus Lorcini, the wingtips are pink. Can you see it? This pink wingtip. Now that doesn't mean whenever you see an atlas moth with pink wingtips that it's always this species. There's many similar species in fact. But um, in captivity it's different because in captivity there are not much species available. So uh, in a zoo or in the hobby you can assume it's Atacus Lorkini. If it's specimen from the wild it becomes a more complicated question. Atlas moths are really lovely animals, some of my favorites. Uh, I don't think I have really good videos of them though. I may uh, do a nice project with them in the future. But uh, as always it takes a lot of time and money. Currently it is winter where I live so the breeding has slowed down a lot. Uh, this summer I did my best to prepare some very cool videos for you and I'm also working on some big videos for this winter but uh, my problem is I have less insects than I do in the summer so I will have to be creative and think of different subjects to talk about than only moths so uh, but for the time being I'm just showing you this beauty here now Lorca's atlas moth in captivity can be raised on privet which is a common garden plant whoops Genus Ligustrum. And in the wild they eat many plants, including santal, but um, also mango. Uh, you can also raise them on avocado, tree of heaven, ailantus, uh, laurel cherry, prunus laurel cerasus. Basically, these guys will eat a lot of stuff, also willow, salix. I believe most of the plants I'm mentioning now are not the ones that they eat in the wild, uh, except for santal and uh, tree of heaven, perhaps. I could give you a list of host plants, but really, these guys are so polyphagous. In the tropics, they usually eat a lot of uh, fruit trees, such as mango, but also uh, crops of agricultural values, such as cashew. The Anacardiaceae family is very popular with them. Uh, they also like to eat uh, Rus, which is called Sumac. So, this is great. Take a look at that, it's so amazing. Wow, so complex. So beautiful, so big. I can't imagine what a privilege it is to be a person that gets to see such amazing moths in captivity. You know, this hobby is like banned in 90% of the world. I just happen to be born in the right place in the right time, in a country where it's allowed to import exotic species without much repercussions. I don't need a permit to have them. Uh, most of them are available online, there's a big hobby for it. And I'm really lucky to have been born in a place where this is possible. In the United States this becomes a lot more difficult, where uh, they try to you know, to try to ban import of exotic moths unless you have a permit. 
and in other places for example like in Russia or tropical Asia or South America you can forget about this although of course in these places there's a lot of native species that you can breed if I lived in the tropics I wouldn't see species like this maybe actually I would but I would only breed the ones from the wild so uh, that's amazing guys such an amazing moth thanks for watching this was just a short educational video nothing special just another moth vlog um, I would like all of you to stay tuned follow my channel because I'm preparing some big and long videos that are more than just showing off random species but uh, thanks and goodbye